<laughs> hey, thanks everyone making the show possible. 400 episodes. We're still rocking on. We've probably learned something we haven't necessarily matured. And I think we're wholly incapable of selling out. It's kind of brilliant. That's what you think. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, we're still stuck at home, all alone, having a good time, chasing penguins in our dreams. Hey, I'm Vin Stone, that's Jordan Swing, Pedro Mateus, you at home watching us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. So... What's new, Pedro? You were on a show, man. I saw I you. I was. <laughs> you were doing a thing. And I didn't understand. It, like, okay. First off, Spanish and Portuguese have some similar words. Yes. Some. <laughs> because I found myself picking out a few. I'm like, I think I know what they, oh, I know what Microsoft mean. Okay. Um, I'm Linux. I'm Linux. <laughs> Yeah, now, uh, if for some reason you find yourself watching this show and going, I wish they were talking in Portuguese, then go watch Linux Tech, because, yeah. Um, And I was on there uh, this Monday. The episode only came out, I think, like the fully edited audio version uh, came out on Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. And, yeah. It's available. It's there. You could go watch the video version or just listen to the audio version, whichever one you prefer. And uh, I also have a new interface that I'm uh, currently speaking into. But uh, yeah, no, that too was an adventure that required me to install Windows 10 on a laptop and then install 7-zip in Windows 10 to open up an EXE file to pull two DLLs so that I could run the firmware updater, only to have it say that it failed to update the firmware, and then when I tell it again to check which wait, version wait, of the wait, firmware wait, 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 wait. is... Ba- ba- back up, back up, okay. back up for a second. All right, fine, you fine, have, fine. You, have, you have to install Windows to use 7-zip what? No. I had to install Windows to be able to run the bit of software that is required to update the firmware on this thing. But in order to run that software, I had to install 7-Zip and extract the two DLLs necessary from the uh, setup file for uh, Visual Studio 2003, which Windows 10, whenever you try to install it, it just goes, no, you're not installing that. And so I pulled those two DLLs out, I ran the thing, and it said, fail to apply the firmware update. So I'm like, oh, crap, did I brick it? You'll like this book. <laughs> um. <laughs> but then I told the, I closed it, I opened it again, I told it to check the version that uh, the interface was running. It's like, oh, it's already on the latest version of the firmware. It's like, oh. No, so so what Pedro install. Mateus accomplished was an IRL <laughs> Task failed successfully. I, I, I was literally just yes. going to say, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's a task <laughs> fail successfully. Dude, All right. That, that was my week. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. I, I'd, never, I'd never seen somebody so... I, you knew Pedro was on a mission because I saw the two pictures that show up in our Discord. He's like, the lights are on! Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but nobody's home. Oh, man. That was bro- What's new like with you, my brain. Oh, my brain. I, I, I like like I was mentioning before. I got an account of Bill Buddy now, so now I gotta try and like work out every day mm-hmm. for like half an hour just to like keep my fucking sanity. I don't know. I I still miss barbell training, man. Oh, I man. To, that, that that that's what's going on with me. Trying to keep a tenuous grip on reality before I go completely lemon. Right on. Uh, really, the only exciting thing. That's been going on. I had a little bit of extra time. I've been entertained by this disappearing, reappearing FedEx package. If you've been following the show. It was supposed to be your last Tuesday. We're kind of at the point where there's no point in calling UPS, FedEx, USPS, anybody. Royal Mail, just forget it. They'll definitely tell you there's other things at hand. But I was surprised it disappeared Tuesday, leaving California. And it has reappeared in this particular state, but I have no idea. I was just, I thought it had been lost. It was like a $35 thing, whatever, but yeah, pretty dull around here. Also, I kind of get our audio system working, but more on that at 11. We need to find out how the horse is doing on this fantastic 400th 
edition of Linux Gamecast. Well, to stop the spread of COVID on in the Steam Linux update of the week, we have hermetically sealed the remains of the horse and dead. in a plexiglass box that we have placed at the bottom of the ocean, and oh, now no. it's taken over Atlantis. It's the Steam, Steam Linux, Linux update of the week. Hey, Proton. Yes, so, new version of Proton, which uh, I only realized... Uh, that there was a new version of Proton out because it's like Steam was, oh, uh, there's a new version of Proton that's been uh, scheduled to be downloaded on the 27th of April, 2020. Mm-hmm. It's like, how about you to just download it now? <laughs> nah. Like, right now. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be such a delightfully dick move if they were like, nah. <laughs> It's uh, like well, you're the, never the, starting the Proton app itself, you know, by itself. No, 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 so no. I, I want to just do it like delays. Um, <laughs> preloading games. I wanted to sit there and encrypt it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, just cues the update just to tease you. Like, yeah, there's an update coming. Yeah. What's in it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Question mark. But yeah, uh, version 5.0-6, which uh, among other things fixes Fallout 3 hanging on launch, as well as uh, Panzer Corpse, which... Both of those games, if I'm not mistaken, were um, Windows um, games for Windows Live games. So I'm wondering if they just disabled uh, X Live DLL in Wine CFG out of the box now. Uh, they've also uh, improved the Rockstar launcher appearance. <laughs> what? It, I mean, it was ugly, and then they gave it a facelift. I don't. I, I, I don't know. Val, Val, Valve continues to Clip support. That like out. I want to see it at the end of the episode. Yeah. Val, Valve continues to support the two VR users on Proton because now you can have a now you won't like error out if you have a custom XDG config home. Also, Doom DR, Doom RM DRM works now apparently, That's though apparently it does requires the latest Nvidia drivers or uh, I guess Mesa. Yeah. That's for date. Let's keep the Proton train. Protron. Protract. Pro, 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 pro train. Pro, 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 pro train. Prolapse. Glorious egg roll. One. Pre release. Uh, this Proton GE right now, the way it's rolling out, is effectively alpha versions of Proton. Uh, wine plus wine stage. And this has been bumped up to 5.6. MF Plat. And this is why I want to bring this is add partial WMV playback support. So it should, in theory, allow Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 movies to play. However, something I note, uh, there's patches for um, Doom Eternal audio patches and a bunch of other Spyro's still broken, by the way. Um, oh, and Final Fantasy XV seems to be working again. But what I noticed is the ability to play those movies in regular Proton's just nerfed. I'm like, just not deal with it. So the games automatically skip it. And I noticed it because I installed this in a couple of games I was testing. I saw the bullshit intro, so like, unskippable. I'm like, nope, bad wrong, bad wrong. Fortunately, you can read to sample that. I, I'd gotten used to skipping over that nonsense that games and developers stin... And you don't... Oh, Warner Brothers is the worst, man. What, what are your but thoughts you, on that, Jordan? When, when you you need to know game, what game you're playing, dude, right? No, no, and you need to know that you're playing it right, because AMD says so, then NVIDIA says so, then Intel <laughs> says so. Oh, by the way, we're using the Havoc engine, shrug emoji, whatever. You needed to see that for 30 fucking seconds. Um, I, I, I have to imagine that, like, the agreement is if you, if you, we'll, we'll, we'll cut, like, 25% off your licensing fee if you just cram these videos like right at the beginning of the and game. make them unskippable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they better throw some cheddar. But I don't think they do it voluntarily. There has to be some incentive. No, it, yeah, it, 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 it's it's contractual. Yeah, I, I agree though. It's it's a pain in the ass. I'm usually just like spamming escape hoping that I can like get it's like then then when the actual like intro cinematic before the menu shows up, mm-hmm. then you can skip that. Because fuck all that noise. Mm-hmm. I actually shit the game we uh, the one the that you actually reviewing. may want to watch for you know oh, the, game, they, yeah. the game we're reviewing yeah. this week does that, that does that yeah, yeah since you don't care like... about the people that developed the game and like yes because you put the credits at the beginning of the game dick right right, right? yeah um, <laughs> we'll get to that we do get a little bit of news uh from steamworks Yes, uh, there's a festival. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Um, Because everyone's trapped indoors probably for like the next four months. Mm. Uh, They're doing a bit of a Steam Game Fest. Uh, The submission deadline is April 24th, but 
the you can submit a build as late as May 15th. Uh, so they're going to showcase these games in some capacity. There's probably going to be some pop-up that shows up when you start Steam that immediately gets close saying, hey, there's a Steam Game Festival here. Uh, I'm also curious how crowded it's going to be because, like, again, we, we, we've talked about Steam has kind of spoiled us all for choice, and as such, you get, like, the really bad option paralysis with the 90 billion games on Steam. How are you supposed to figure out what you're supposed to play? Right? Uh, you really don't because you start going through them. It's like, oh, that's shit. That, 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 that's pretty shit. Uh, right. That and, one and looks when, okay. But like, th- th- it's the signal to noise ratio, right? So mm-hmm. yeah, that, 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 that's, that's been the consistent problem. So well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe even hammering cool games, games out analytics, on. going through sorting by new, it, there's plenty of games, but I'm kind of with pictures. You were almost shocked when something looks competently done. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, oh, oh, I might actually want to play that. How we, about that? <laughs> we, we've made it as a platform because we, we get our share of shovelware as well. Mm. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Freddy Fish. And there's a lot of porn games. So what a about this? Um, who's them. eligible? Uh, early access games? Unreleased early access games can certainly participate. Uh, games that are released and playable in early access are not eligible. So you need to be aware yeah. of that. And um, yeah, you can just sign up for it. And you can yep. do live streams, chats, and all this fun stuff to promote it. I think that's cool, man. Keep people interested and uh, mm-hmm. motivated to make something cool. Indeed. Yep. And, you know, and put, it's put valid for anything... People. Yeah, valid for anything that you release between June 15th this year and some point in the summer of 2021. They weren't particularly specific about that. Yeah, well, you know, it's Valve. <laughs> what are they going to stick you with a yeah. date? They're not hypocrites. <laughs> no. Sometime between 2021 and dot, dot, dot. Yeah, the, the, the heat death of the universe. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, I was going to say, I think we've all seen the after credits ending of Alex that I'm not going to spoil for anyone, but I have, yeah, that moment, I think Scott <laughs> recently saw it because he popped up in discord. He's like, Oh, I'm like, yeah. Um, mm. but on that, topic, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I've, I haven't actually watched the playthrough of Alex yet. So I'm like completely unspoiled. It, uh, I watched, I completely justified watching a playthrough of it because I'm not, going to buy a vr system too well nope. lo and behold <laughs> r57 zone has something that may interest you oh. uh, it's an open vr driver uh steam vr driver for uh playing half-life alex without a vr headset and you know we, 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 we've been talking about this for a couple weeks like i theorized i'm pretty sure any sort of like keyboard and mouse based implementation is going to be pretty janky because the game is designed to have like your head moving around and multiple limbs flailing about and mm. lo and behold um in in the in the notes here they're like yeah by the way here are the sections you're gonna have a bunch of problems <laughs> with here's what you need to do in order to get through it um so yeah there's yeah. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's there's clearly some uh there's clearly some jank around there but that's to be expected trying to make a vr title a non-vr title that's what we're um, looking at man right shift left mouse motion escape and thumbstick arrow keys uh number pad key space that you you can I mean, you can actually uh, you can actually re-edit the key bindings as well. So, hmm. uh, the, the 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 document there. So you know you know how you got like the Unity Sprain Pray like input config, right? <laughs> yeah. So like they actually there's actually like a little dictionary explaining what these things are. So I love you this can, P cover mouth oh. chapter seven. Jeff, move the <laughs> controller in front of the head. Jeff, yeah, just Jeff. Always pick up Jeff. Jeff. Well, I mean, and that—that that is the section that uh, Jordan was talking about. Walk through difficulties. It's like, oh, reading through that—that—that that, that, there's a lot of jank. <laughs> what are our thoughts, though? I mean, when I hear jank, being the veterans of the Trine Wars, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, plowing so, through you know, and overcoming inhuman amounts of jank as we have publicly. Does does this even? It does. Does your because... brain say anything other than I can do that? I got this. <laughs> oh, because h- h- well, no. we read into a lot of jank in, especially uh, try and three. Um, oh, that I, was I would at least that supposed to I be. Want to, I will say twenty five percent of the time you were invisible, stuck into a wall during try and two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, try and three was the extra bit of jank. Uh, but that was deliberately designed to at least support that kind of configuration that we were trying to play the game in. 
Right. Well, this you, we're, you, we're using not. the intended input method. <laughs> the, yeah. This, this is this is entirely a workaround, and I'll I'll be it like, yeah, you're you're gonna need to do some keyboard spray and pray in order to simulate having an extra cursor. Mm -hmm. But like, well, I, 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 my first thought is X can handle more than one input. Well, yeah, that I I was my my brain was going there too. Double mouse. But, <laughs> oh no, Pedro! And, I'm gonna get some tape and play it with my feet. <laughs> no, no, no. Mouse see, feet. Now, 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 what I want to see is I want to see someone hack up Half Life Alex so that you can play it with like our driving wheel setup. Oh no, no! All of you can just die in a fire. I want to see it done on a Nintendo Power Pad. No, I want to see it on a DDR pad. Sega Activator. Guitar. Oh, the, 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 the Sega motion control thing. That oh didn't work. yes, that. Oh, oh, yeah. the we, fishing rod. <laughs> oh, you can use that while you're doing it, of course. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta use the, the Super Nintendo bazooka to play Alex. <laughs> the light gun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, can... at least this makes it possible for the upcoming Twitch Plays Alex. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I, totally, inputs. I totally want to see that. <laughs> I will watch this. I will buy all the popcorn. Uh, we do all have right. a few game updates, though. Uh, yes. Uh, in, in Divisible, that uh, game that Lab Zero put out, uh, we threw some chairs at it. Uh, they've introduced uh, couch multiplayer now. So that's kind of neat. Uh, they require, It required a bit of a re-implementation of the game, but uh, it's drop-in, so you can just kind of show up and um you, uh they've implemented platforming mechanics for all of the various characters as well and they all have like unique uh overworld interactions which i think is kind of neat you know jordan i like this though um for the sake of because when i think of divisible I was like, oh this would be absolutely be fun to play with people who had fuck all idea what they knew what we were doing player one still controls the menus the npc interactions cutscenes, <laughs> and all that jazz most importantly which would keep um Ass banjos like me from like cocking up strategies and stuff to some extent, though, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's an honest question to you, though. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, Pedro, would you know? Uh, I don't know. Would I you hazard a guess? <laughs> I'm not going to test you I mean, at the end of the show again. The uh, like the the whole progression in Indivisible was pretty linear. At least right up to where I played, where I kind of stopped playing was, I suppose, where it kind of opens up, which is when you get the little pirate lady that she lets you use her boat. And, you know, um, that, yeah, up to that point, everything I was got pretty right later. I up to so. the point where you felt like the two spinny big things and they just checked my ass <laughs> so oh yeah <laughs> yeah i i, I, yeah, I got to the it point took where a couple of tries to beat those but i did <laughs> for, for for me it was the boss fight with the uh platforming segment in the middle i fucked up the platforming and i died i'm like oh i gotta redo the entire first part of this boss fight no um so the, there is no network multiplayer but they are recommending using uh steam remote play yeah uh i'm actually yep. kind of curious how uh especially especially with like platforming and whatnot with megabyte punch it was okay uh but for this i wonder how the latency is handled uh, think, with like the platforming stuff maybe we'll try it next week i'm curious i'll, maybe, I'll, I'll have maybe. to play it with somebody who has some idea of what they're doing maybe maybe we can get civic we'll need somebody that has some idea yeah. of, of, <laughs> what of, what, of what they're doing <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Uh, stone shard. That sounds edgy. Yeah, eh, not really. No, yeah, it's fine. a turn-based RPG set in what they call an open world, and it it is very much your typical uh, fantasy setting. There's there's an orc-looking fella in the um, top right He's little got game cover bones. area. Yes, so uh, that is very much uh, what is being described here. And looking at the, um, it's very, very, very um, dungeon crawly. Like it's it's a net hack. It's it, that's what it looks like. Just this like is minus... also a dick game, dude. I watched um what uh, uh from the Total Biscuit uh, Dodger. She was playing this when it was in early access, and oh, yeah. th it's still in early is... access. <laughs> well, it's on Linux now, baby. Yes, and uh, it's a motherfucker. <laughs> like, it's yeah, mean. yeah. It's, it's 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 a net hack. That's they're, they're 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 like they actually made a world, so it's not procedurally generated. But beyond that, it's mm -hmm. like, like a net one of the. Controller. I probably took like just to get through the tutorial section of the game. I think 
was well over like two hours of just getting murderated. Like, oh, I mean, it's hard. Uh, from that description that they give, it's like, oh, so it's medieval Fallout. Okay, I, I, I'm into that. I'm going to wait until it's out of early access to get it, but mm -hmm. that seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that it's uh, rolling out the Linux sense thing because it's a very well done game. It's turn based, it's not my thing, but I'm willing to try it. I don't know if it's going to be one that changes my mind. Might be. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, who knows? Anyway. Coming up next, we have lower memory requirements. We got new Dix Vix, sort of, kind of, in Lutris, maybe. And Ultima. Ultima. And uh, intentionally or not, you've made it into the shilling segment of the show, since we don't really have any... Um, you know, pe people Con content, with personality, loads charm, of money phobias. who want to give us a little bit of it. We have to ask what is you, the, um, the people with fear less of, money. <laughs> is there, okay, there has to be. Is, okay, how far can you drill down on the fear of money? Is there's like a fear of like uh, metal tinder versus paper tinder or plastic tinder? Maybe. Bender tinder? Coin, it's you, you got a fear of tinder because you got a fear of commitment well actually tinder if you have a fear of, if you have a fear of commitment <laughs> you're probably on tinder Any, yes. anyways <laughs> if, if you want to pay for our tinder accounts you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com put your mouse over the support button we got bitcoin we got paypal we got i Uber can change Pay, it to tinder button we, we yeah, it just redirects you to like ben's tinder profile yeah yeah um i mean i'm Okay, now gotta gotta hit the eject button Good on, on that. you, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, head, head on over to patreoncom slash Gamecast. Support us that way. It's great. You get stuff in return, like Discord access. You can show up uh, an hour early before we go live at seven thirty on Saturdays and get an extra hour of Linux gaming goodcast. Goodcastness. Yes, Goodcast. that's a word. Linux goodcast. A uh, new series brought to you by people not on this show. Hey, you yes, can join it's us on Christian games. Christian show. <laughs> we are currently doing a uh, playthrough of Wolfenstein Coop. So if you want to pop in on that action, that'll be uh, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, every Friday until we get done, which I don't know when it gets done because we're playing it on hard mode. And it's going to get really slow once I get a thing working. Yeah, uh, we 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 got we got some, we got some uh, patrons. We got to thank. Yeah, we do. Uh, we got we got Christopher Three and Linux Nuru, who's coming back with uh, with the monies. So thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate the support. <laughs> um, there's other ways to give us support without going to Patreon. You can buy. You some can share the from show. Be like, hey man, have you have you seen this show? And then like strap people in chairs and force them to watch it until they go insane. No, yeah. no, it is how you practice social dis distancing. Man, you just put the show on like your mobile speaker out loud. Six foot. Oh yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. They'll people just people are just going to avoid you. <laughs> weaponizing. You, 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 when I say share the show, that that yes, weaponizing. You, you can wombo combo that with like the use me T-shirt mm -hmm. from our store, mm -hmm. store.linuxgamecast.com, and like get that extra like twenty meters of space because people will not want to be in your orbit. Um, do, do you think we can get away with selling T-shirt that just says dot 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 run? Maybe. Uh, oh no, we'd need to put it on a fanny pack though. We can do this. Indeed. Yes, <laughs> we have Fanny technology. <laughs> we, we got so so much Fanny. Uh, we, we, we also we also got uh, the Fanny. We, we we got some wish zones on Amazon too. If you yes, want to help uh, build up our respective studios, you can go. You can uh, get some stuff off there. The links in the, under the support tab, and you can get your name on that giant board behind Ven. And you can also send us a note that we have to read, so you can make us say all sorts of dumb shit. You can make Pedro yep. read it <laughs> in Portuguese. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, no. Like uh, translation decay, like a message, and like make Pedro read that out to give him a brain aneurysm. That'd be great. <laughs> can, can, you know what? I'm planning on buying, cheating, and buying something for the studio anyway. So <laughs> that, 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 that's that's what you're doing. You're gonna like translation. De you're gonna Google translate decay a message that like could have been legible Portuguese at one point, this is but gonna, now this could get interesting. Also, a bit it's of like a name some unholy that. chimera. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I would send myself a message. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks everyone making the show possible. 400 episodes. We're still rocking on. We've probably learned something we haven't necessarily matured, and I think we're wholly incapable of selling out. It's kind of brilliant. That's what you think. Damn it. Flashlight. <laughs>
All right. Uh, speak, speaking of selling out. Oh, that, <laughs> oh that'd be <laughs> great. Oh, no, did you take a sip out of your? Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> but but you know you know speaking of sellouts, um, one of our favorite sellouts has a new release out. Uh, Strider has a new version of Lutris. Uh, it's zero five six, and he's taking on a bit of a tech, bit of uh, technical debt here because now um, they're managing their own Dixfix releases. Um, this is done so that um, if they because like uh, they they've been pushing out some changes that sometimes break some games. So Strider wants a little more fine grain control over that makes sense uh it's gonna be a lot more work on his end but you know the mouse isn't cracking the, the whip anymore uh there is a breaking change with time tracking though um i believe the variable type has changed so if you're worried about um mm -hmm. this version maybe hold up a little bit uh there's also the de-drunkification of kde icons so now you can see them properly okay this this is what i really wanted to know because uh, uh you're, you're the kde thing in the show the KDE <laughs> crony thanks yeah, yeah i'm the KDE thing quit quit <laughs> blushing you ho uh, um dude uh was that like a, an issue did you ever notice that is that, is that a real not thing really because i that, it, it, i've my working I, theory I, is it's not above <laughs> matthew just to make stuff up and put it into the release notes well, that's what happens Unless when you depend on the It was like the default right? breeze. Mm -hmm. It could have been the default breeze icons because I don't use those. Um, so, I don't know. Okay, now I want there to be like a just slid in, like not never mentioned, like slightly blurry icon set for <laughs> yeah oh I, I, so so there, there 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 is a nice thing that strider implemented on wayland that we're not going to see in xland but you can restrict to a display so you can say like yes. game mm. don't go on this other monitor stick on this monitor which is nice do, do you think uh, some uh, games are just going to crash out of spite because that's, maybe that's probably. all they know how to do <laughs> but uh one of the things that i noticed is you know as also, the only other person here without an English locale set uh, on his Linux install is like, um, fix the, um, what is it? Mm -hmm. I lost it. But there you go. Um, what, what were you saying about the English locale? <laughs> if you just said it fix to English. for wine sandbox okay. on non-English systems. And um, Apparently, uh, that doesn't fix the issue that I have, which is if you have a game installed in Lutris and say you want to add it as a shortcut on Steam so you can launch it directly from Steam, that still doesn't work. I was kind of hoping that that would be the thing that would make it work, but it wasn't. Matthew, um, since you're in Discord right now, make sure that never happens. Um... <laughs> D d detect if the username is Pedro and then just completely fuck that, up. You know, check for Portuguese locale and just nerf it. Sorry, Portugal. We'll take one for the team on this one. It'll be worth it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll, no also, have it, Portugal. <laughs> also have it make a bunch of folders in his home directory. Yeah. Just one. Just one to do. Oh, speaking of Pedro, patreon.com forward slash Lutris. <laughs> Go help out. Match your command on make his awesome shit. It's brilliant. Indeed. Oh, speaking of Patreon as well, uh, this next post is from uh, the Yuzu Patreon. Yay! Uh, yeah, uh, so they got a brand new feature release out. Uh, they've re completely redone their mem memory management. Event Originally, it was actually based off of uh, Citra's memory management, which was good enough to get them up and running. But now they've actually done a they've actually done something that respects the actual memory layout of the Switch, and that has resulted in some pretty substantial a memory bit. gains. Yeah, yeah, any <laughs> anywhere bit. from like <laughs> eight to like eighty some odd percent memory improvements yeah. <laughs> on games that's pretty substantial um it's actually drastic enough that super smash brothers ultimate is like playable now that they've implemented this does it um, weird anyone else out when you see sonic games on nintendo or i'm just old man issues? I, I, I i i think i've gotten over it it was weird for a while but mm. now now it's pretty good but like As someone yeah. who was very much into the whole sega versus nintendo back in the 90s a little bit yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah the 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 uh, memory gains are pretty substantial we're seeing uh, on average about like 66 percent on 2d games and 45 percent on 3d games mm -hmm. that's crazy man oh, yeah. so good 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 on good on them for that this is going to make a lot of these games playable on lower end systems which is always a problem that uh, emulators are running into just because you know in order to emulate all the hardware it, you need some you need some resources for that so. that's definitely always been a problem uh full disclosure i still put this in the show notes because this is available on linux and they are keeping parity 
with their development, which is great to see. And I just do a control F Bayo. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. I want to play my Bayonetta too for once. <laughs> no, still not playable yet. Not it yet. will forever elude me. Aw. You have a switch though. You don't care, do you? No, I don't. I can. Mm. Do, I no, I I do because it cost me hundred dollars to buy a game. Have you seen how much switches are now? No, dude. Uh, look, look at can, Canadian. They're like five hundred something dollars on eBay because they're sold out everywhere. Between the um, COVID and the uh, Animal Crossing, they've just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you know that 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 makes sense. Oh man, price gouging switches. Show title. But let's talk about the fire of. I want to call it Ardor, but it's Ardor. I, I keep thinking Ardor. of like the Flame of Arnor. Uh, <laughs> Dark file will not avail you. Flame of Uldun. Sure. You, you shall know, not pass. Pixel Just to throw 9, my particular hat into that misunderstanding ring. Uh, in Portuguese, Ardor uh, means uh, it's like an intense burning, often used as like an intense burning sensation. Uh, so, so it's like I see yeah. hot. The name of this game uh, would could be interpreted as the fire of burning, but well, <laughs> it but it do, it does feature a boss fight, which is yes. it do, yes, it has a boss Critical fight to and four different world sections. Unless the burning sensation seven, is a boss fight, yes, uh, seven different types of enemies, and uh, it it looks very uh, heretic hexany. With the sword it, and the spell, I, I, I get more of like a Daggerfall vibe from it. Mm, but... I can see that. <laughs> da like da da it seems a little too low end to be Daggerfally, dude. Da da I think you might be remembering like Daggerfall with some yeah. rose colored glasses. I mean, it. This is like a maybe a slight. Seen some places looks better than Daggerfall than others. The <laughs> the the giant centipede thing. Yeah. It's not I mean, a come on, look at that though, bat so action, hot bat action, <laughs> and whatever the I hell think that is. bats look more uh, 3D in Daggerfall, it, come on. It, it, it's pronounced hot action. <laughs> Gargoyles. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but it, it is available on Skeletor. Itch, and um, it is, you can download it uh, for free, and mm -hmm. it is still very much in development, so... Keep that in mind if you do decide to give it a try. I'm down with it. And that was on my um, shit to do this week. I never get a chance because it's incredibly well done for something. Talk about shit that belongs more on Steam than most of the shit on Steam. Well, yeah, this, this, yeah. This, 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 this is the result of a game jam, too, which is a lot of games on Steam these days. Is, <laughs> ah, we, we, we made this thing in like a day and then we polish it up and put it on We Steam. have this prototype, so uh, here it is on Steam. Have Early access, baby. <laughs> Early access. I'm down with that. Um, good work. Good work in the light support, and uh, keep it up. But our long national nightmare is over because X U Ult Exult Exult Exult. <laughs> you see the man? Come on, tell me, tell me that that that's barely an L. That's, that's an L. L. <laughs> See, everyone you, agrees with me. They were they were stunned in silence that I would even have to address how barely an L that is. But check it out. Almost 10 years after the version 1.4.9 RC. Come on, people. People. Quit. <laughs> Stop. All right? <laughs> Especially after you've made it past the first point release. Quit bullshitting with the stuff. Just roll, roll it out. Single numbers, man. Um, 16 years after the last stable version 1.2 and 28 years after the official release of Ultima VII, Seven. Um, the Blackgate Knight, we are finally ready to release a new version with many developers busy. Okay, this is out. This is a thing. Big thing I took away from this. If this is your cup of chainsaw, they now have that SDL2 hut that's going in there. Mm, that's good news, everyone. And tons of bun bug bung fixes. Yeah, that's the thing. Bung, bung fixes? Bung fixes. <laughs> But I my bug for my fixing. bug fixes. Something <laughs> that has been plaguing the Axel uh, community for years has been fixed. The NPCs using beds are sleeping better now. Yeah. Right. Finally. Also, I'll, also the paper dolls support wearing diapers now. Thank fucking Christ. <laughs> Jeez. About <laughs> time. Those paper dolls were shitting everywhere. Like Apparently it was, it was a their, mess. Their web zone is hosted in Mordor on a Raspberry Pi one. Whoa, what's this? this? Look at this. Oof. What? That that's that Nokia looking. 
tech. I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll run on your old Nokia phone, so there you go. That's pretty cool, man. It is using SDL, and now it's using SDL too, so at <laughs> least uh, if you are playing it on a recent system, it won't fuck with your other monitors, but, but, which I guess but is did, good. But did, did they add rumble support? <laughs> <laughs> For no reason, it just rumbles all the time. Oh yeah! They do well, controller I, I, support I, I, first, but I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love when games do that, you just start it up and you just hear brrrr, what the hell is that? Oh, oh it's all, the, the, the fantastic <laughs> experience is when you fire a Proton game and it's just knackered and your controller just takes off across the desk. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, oh man, you can, you can set up like little controller races too, like, go oh, banana! Yeah. <laughs> just turn on two at the same time, put him down on the table, just <laughs> Man, alright, speaking of knackered controls. Yeah, coming up next, uh, you're now breathing manually. You're welcome for that. Yay. Where, where, where else do I share that? Manuel Semwell. It's Breathing Awareness Month. <laughs> Keep your hands on your parts and your parts hands on your hands. On yeah, parts on your hands. <laughs> and parts. H hands on your other parts. We're, we're throwing chairs at uh, Manuel Samuel. It's developed by a Perfectly Paranormal Games done on Unity Engine. And it will tell you as much. Uh, you can pick it up for about 10 bucks. We actually got it for free because Humble yeah, was did. just giving it away. Yep. Um, <laughs> was it? Meet Samuel. He's a handsome, wealthy, and most importantly, Diod. A deal with Dioth gives Samuel <laughs> one last chance to see if he can survive a whole day doing everything manuel -y. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's let's get this chair position started for this free game. Ben, how'd it run on Debian? Brilliant. Debian testing, by the way, it's just not regular Debian. It's, it's, oh, De oof, it's, it's a fancy Debian. No, it's the Debian that I'm terrified to update because earlier this week they did a knackered thing where it, like, broke the hell out of something. I was like, okay, I'm Neo dodged a bullet <laughs> on that update. So, oh, man. what do we got? What do we got? Uh... Okay, Debian testing, Ryzen 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe drives, NVIDIA 2060. Yes, this is a graphical juggernaut, not really. It uh, did 60. I mean, I expected it to. When you get it to run, you better like it running in a window because that's about all you're going to get out of it. Full screen is completely knackered uh, on this box with just one, two, three, with only four monitors. Uh, it insisted on opening on my... The first monitor, which is not the first one plugged into the 2060. It's like, no, I like this monitor. Quit doing that. I'll move you over here. By the way, I'm, I really like this monitor. Like, Fuck you. I'll this is the leftmost monitor, always. Yeah. <laughs> so then I do the intelligent thing. Of, well, I move you to the one that is set as the primary display and I'll full screen. Ah, I'm moving back to that left monitor. Look at me. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Gave up. Played it in a window. Granted, I played it in a UHD window. But anyway... That didn't bug me as much as press A to start, so I reached over, I grabbed my wireless X clone controller, hit go, because, you know, it has an A button, thought it was going to be clever, and I pressed it, told me to go fuck myself, didn't happen. Hmm. Fair enough. Grabbed the PlayStation 4 controller, hit that button, it started working, but it had the incorrect button prompt, so I'm still having issues doing that mental mapping, not ever having a PS device, so... Um, yeah, that, that was irritating, man. A little bit. And these motherfuckers built an entire game based on the principles of Quop, and they didn't include keyboard support. Fuck you. That's all I got to say to that. Um, LG Secures. But let's talk about the fun. What is it? Uh, what I just said. I mean, it's Quop, man. This starts out with uh, what can only be described as a Douglas Adams-esque on a budget narration that, quite frankly, is just bad, man. It is. The VO work. <laughs> VO works completely passable. Dude did a great job with the material he had to work with. It's the writing. It's that caliber of script that can only be constructed by someone who finds themselves particularly clever and witty. Also a little bit of funny without managing to be any of those things. We all know that person, but I might be one myself because that's coming from a dude in a wizard rope. Come on. Think about that. I didn't. Okay, how about this, guys? Did did you at least get a laugh when you skipped the credits? Can we give them a little bit of credit on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, they give they give you the cheapo for like, oh, fuck the people who made this game. <laughs> right. Okay, mm -hmm. you did good on that. You did. Uh, playing it 
is it does take full control of the PS4 controller. It would work with the Xbox controller, but that's a known issue on Linux, like the full screen issue that apparently has been an issue for a long time. They just haven't fixed it yet. But then again, we get what we pay for, which is currently available on Humble for the price of free. You move, you stand up, you brush your teeth, you drop shit, you fall over, you do the splits, and you kind of <laughs> piss all over yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you piss all over everything. You hump the carpet, and then a, you eventually end up in a driving segment with the uh, street smart Grim Reaper, who is borderline those robots from the second Transformer movie. Uh, no, yeah, no, being no. tone deaf with the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've known people exactly like this. I'm like, really, <sighs> this. This chud. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, man. Brass tacks, a squap with some extra shit tacked on. And that wears out, you know, the fun of that, it just wears out where you would think around the 30 minute mark. It's like, okay, this doesn't. If you make it to the driving segments, what we're seeing in the video, Pedro is like, man, what would be the least entertaining part I could find about this game? Here it is. And uh, <laughs> that that's pretty much what you have to look forward to if you manage to take a leak, brush your teeth, and uh, grab a bite to eat on the way out the door. So, yeah, man. Um, not my dice. I'm, I am I gotta, like, straight up throw this. Uh, just a... Nope. On the technical merits, if it doesn't open on the right monitor, the controls do not work with the Xbox controller, and this is not fun. Yeah. So on uh, Fedora 30 64 bit with the i7 i7 6700 K GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, it launches on like a super low resolution in a really big window on my secondary monitor. Um, I've when you full full screen works for me because like I can I can play games on this monitor. I just gotta re-angle myself. Um, PS4 controller works out of the box. It actually vibrates too. There's an option for like when you're about to tip over, it'll vibrate the controller, which is actually kind of nice because otherwise you just kind of fall over randomly. Um, the art itself, it reminds me a bit of like the old Control Alt Delete web comic. A little bit. I don't <laughs> know. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing. Fun wise, I mean, Quap was funny for a little bit. I always kind of find it funnier to watch than to actually play, just because it was more frustrating. I couldn't, I couldn't get Quap to do any of the funny shit that everyone else could. It was just like no. Um, but like Man Manuel Samuel follows that formula and adds twists such as breathing and urinating. Um, and I mean, like I get, I get what they're going for with the narrator. I don't know if it's like Douglas Adams. The narration, I'm kind of more reminded of like Monster Prom, but it's not really landing for me. And like the all the four horsemen of the apocalypse being edgelord cheat teens, also, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not really doing it for me. Uh, yeah, the, the, this chick with a shotgun, she's like a big Metallica War. fan, I guess. She makes me, she makes <laughs> me exercise the brake in this car, which is annoying. Um, yeah, the gameplay itself, I mean, it's, it's obnoxious. It's supposed to be, you've got to breathe in, you got, you, you don't have to worry about breathing out. You can just breathe in ad infinitum and like your lungs have an infinite capacity. Periodically, you got to hit up and walking. You, your first instinct would be to like hammer on left trigger, right trigger, but like there's, there's a frame limiter. So that's how, that's how you start humping the floor. Hump that carpet. Mm, like that in carpet. Indeed. I don't know. This like this this game is very clearly a gimmick and the gimmick does not work for me. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it one chair. It's not fun. Yeah, and over here on um KD Neon with the Ryzen 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box at 850 by 540. I don't know why it decided to pick that resolution, but it was the was, lowest one uh, it supported. That's yeah, <laughs> and uh, it said it was best experience with a controller. So I pick up the Dual Shock Four, the V2 in this case. I hit the button, let the uh, Bluetooth sync, and it didn't work. It's like okay, so quit the game, go into um, big picture mode. You don't actually need to go into big picture mode, but I just do because it's faster that way. Did that, set it to uh, force enable the Steam input for DualShock, and um, yeah, it started working after that. But outside of these two issues, I really had no other problems. It's it's Unity. It it, it throws 144 uh, frames on screen at any point, so... Mm -hmm. uh, as for the fun, well, video games as an art medium are interesting. The interactive components is 
what sets them apart from the rest of the uh, art mediums out there. And in my opinion, uh, it's kind of it's the that interactivity that makes or breaks a game. So here is a game that uh, makes that interactivity surface things which in other games you just assume that would be done automatically. Like, your character is breeding, or not not breeding, breathing, um, or moving one foot at a time, or any of the other stuff that you, yourself, IRL, don't really think about because it's muscle memory, and it's something that you kind of need to do to survive, so why would you? But in Manual Samuel, um, it's, it's, okay, admittedly it's not the first game to do it, Quop, like Ven and Jordan already mentioned, and uh, Octodad immediately jumped to mind. But in my opinion, having played Quop and Octodad, uh, this is the first game to do it successfully. Stay with me here. Uh, any game which causes you to feel things or makes you aware of things that you weren't before you played that game, that game wins. It just freaking wins because regardless of my own feelings about it and i wasn't a big fan of quop or octodad or even this one let's be honest uh but manual samuel just fucking wins because uh two hours after i put the controller down and i stopped playing i was still very fully aware of my own breathing Did you just and get, my like, own hung up on the driving thing blinking. because i know a lot of people if you're watching the video version right now you're like what the fuck is he talking about they're just sitting in a car going back and forth well, uh, the driving thing just happened to be when I hit record because I beat uh, the second level. And it's like, okay, let's start recording now. And this was the section that happened to be there. But yeah, uh, it, it's still one of those annoying, uh, like, rage-inducing games because it forces you to do something that you really wouldn't have to do in any other game because... Why would you? It's not fun. There's probably a reason that they didn't ask you to do it. But it's possibly the best of the bunch solely because it makes you very aware of the whole one foot, then the other, in time, get that cadence right. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it three chairs. <laughs> No man, like I think Octodad has like a better premise than this, and that's it's definitely where, like, a, a lot of good story. Here's one thing I'm going to say about this game: um, not hating on it to hate on it. Clearly, a lot of work went into this, hundred percent. I mean, yeah. animation, story, voice acting, all that. For me, it just didn't. Apparently, oh, oh fudge! Oh, Hashtag oh fudge! It it didn't land. It, it didn't click. We bring up Octodad, and I think that is. A very good point because that game it, it connected like you, you were feeling something you yeah hey man this, yeah this not for weird. me it didn't <laughs> yeah the the, the 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 yeah for octodad for me yeah the, the the premise and like just the sheer absurdity of it made it work mm -hmm. here you're just like marionette controlling some dude so well i, I, I also i i think maybe they made you you don't like the character you're playing, like, in the first 10 seconds. I, I don't like the character I'm playing. I don't like the character I'm forced to interact with nonstop with. Mm. So, like, I think the moral of the story is if the Grim Reaper ever offers you a deal, tell him to go fuck himself. Stay dead. Yeah. Mm. Seems legit. Why, why would I want to come back to life anyways? Coming up next, we, get a little, we, 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 talk, we talk about the racing and... That, that's it. We, we got a tiny... I, I'm, we're spoiled. We had a big hate mail section last week, and we have a tiny one this week. And I suppose it was a short show, you know, <laughs> as far as Linux Gamecast Weekly goes. This one was uh, pretty short. <laughs> yes. Point. So, like a tiger. if you'd like to let us know toit. whether you prefer them uh, toit or really, really big, you can go on over to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, and fill out the form. LGC Weekly is usually the default, it, unless for some reason you happen to be saving cookies weirdly. Which, you know, to each their own, I guess, but don't do that. Just do don't. it. Do it. <laughs> Come on. I dare you. Maybe not. No, no. Oh, no. man. I forgot to take this off. <laughs> Whatever. No, well, I we can have uh, Robe I Jordan. I completely space. <laughs> oh, Jordan, just sweetheart, you've been actively checked out tonight, man. It's cool. We still love you. Yeah. I'm, 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 so, I'm, I'm trying, man. My brain's not working. <laughs> 
let's uh let's get into the one teeny tiny little bit of hate mail that we have bit. to go on with the uh teeny tiny little show and it's uh hey, tom man. and he says uh hi hi i'm an indie game developer who has just released a new top-down racing game called ultimate racing 2d on linux hmm. at the moment game pads are not working on linux due to a bug inside the game engine being used game maker studio 2 hmm. as soon as this uh, will get fixed we will be able to fix it for you <laughs> i have included action. three steam keys in case you would be interested it's like yeah that is the requirement thank yeah. you follow you instructions read. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, a long-standing tradition we've had on this show is, hey, man, you want to send some copies of your game? We'll take a look at it, allegedly. Uh, sometimes oh, yeah. we don't, out of, for your own good. But this is Ultimate Racing 2D. It is currently available. And as the developer just stated, don't fucking buy it right now because there's no controller support. And it's a racing uh, game. Unless you really, really like racing with keyboard and mouse. It's currently evil I don't when it mind does it. <laughs> Yeah, Pedro might play it. You play with a keyboard sometimes. Let's see what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 1204, 2 gigs of RAM, 700 megs of RAM. Yeah, wait. How's the online? Online PvP? Hmm? Hmm? All right. We, we can Apparently all... there's online, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. We can all just pick somebody at random and gang up on them and run them off the truck. <laughs> Oh, oh man, yeah, it, it actually like implements proper collisions and like <laughs> you can see like the little eight bit guy like crawl out of the car with like half his face melted off and he's like, ah, I can't. Man. I paid extra for that, Pedro. What I was thinking as we do a public announcement on the server Friday and we leave one extra spot and anytime anyone joins, we just all turn on him. <laughs> Get them, blow them off the track and pin them to a wall. We, we, we see done. how long it takes to drive them out. That's the new game. Whoever can get the longest time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. That, that requires a level of coordination that we probably lack. Oh, so. yeah. It's one of those theories. We, we're, we're always awash with these ideas that never come to fruition. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, always a good intent. What, what's with the Game Maker Studio? How many games have we seen on... Uh, uh, Hyperlight, uh, there's okay. been a couple. Yeah. Been a and couple Hyperlight ones. worked, I guess that was the first Game Maker Studio. It wasn't Game Maker Studio 2. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's interesting. Hey, I'm going to say good on you, mainly for letting us know and letting us tell everyone that the game controls are knackered right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Looking for responsible forward. disclosure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that, uh, absolutely good on you for letting everyone know about that. But, Very much appreciated. <laughs> on that 400th beautiful squishy bombshell so tiny we cue the music so squishy squishy <laughs> squish <laughs> you can always hop aboard the nightmare train at 9 wait 8.30 yes that's right that's one thing it's changed like a year ago anyway Eastern Standard Moon Time. What time is that in Britannia GMT that's uh, 1.30 a.m. 1.30 on so what right, time is that is hunting in Hong Kong? Right when you get home from Fuck the bars you, that's off the when. night bus, tune in. We'll be there. We'll give you hugs. There'll be sloppy, sloppy wet hugs. Don't ask. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, at Vin Stone. Yes, step Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there. I'm hanging out. Uh, Scream in my direction. Don't be too noisy, but I always say hi back or something like that. I'll at least read it. And just at Vin on mast.linuxgamecast.com because that's the thing. And I'm there too. Linux Gamecast Weekly is kind of like the Hotel California because you can check out any time, but you can never leave. I'm pretty checked out. You can find me just staring at a blank wall at The Burning Fool on Twitter or on Mastodon at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. And if we're going to keep that analogy going, you can stab me with your silly knives, but uh, you just can't kill this beast. So, uh, can't kill yeah, that accounted for on, <laughs> on Twitter. That's usually... Well, not usually. That is the only way to get in touch with me. Unless you want to see, be on Discord. I can send you my Discord username if you'd like. <laughs> see, I, for, for, for you, I would have thought you would go with the please bring me my wine. We haven't had that kind of spirit here since 1969. Oh. <laughs> man, getting hold of Pedro is easy. Just mention his name somewhere, man. You, you could do it on, uh, I don't know. Do title. it, do it. Just, just like leave a Pornhub comment that just says Pedro and he'll be there. <laughs> that would require me to go to Pornhub. I haven't been there in a while. Sure. Likely story. Um, you know what? Let's thank the people. Roll some credits. Boop. Yeah.
What kind of what kind of lotion do you use? Uh, I have a giant thing because uh, it, coconut. It smells like coconut. I have that time. Mm. Episode well, CD thing, it's a lotion Turbo. That I have. I'm putting Tur- into Turbo Patri Patreons. Patri Patreons. Patri. All right. It is episode Turbo CD though. Four hundred. Patri. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got to thank uh, Haplo, Arthurian, Empty, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barbara, Albius, Matt Geek, Scoots, Frostclaw, Drummer Seven, Slightly Aligning Thing, Lutris, Lubrequest. As mighty, mighty Libra Quest. And our producers yeah, like David yes. S., Smashly G, Michael Egal, Jolly, Topical Gaius, Matthew, Yet Max, Yabo, Stonyfish, Kresge, Che, Mr. Alert, Michael, and Ma- this Massimoni, Brad S., Grayson, Dan w. Foxy, Todd, Nicole, Nine Bullets, Greg, North Sure, Big Bud, Havens, Sherry Wick, More Scott, <laughs> System T, Nipples, KTW. <laughs> Rondro, Ertain, Nick, Lytix Noob, Jupiter, Rudy, Master Drac, Gonzo, Gonzo 2000, Jupiter, Another Steve. We got we got Steve, Stephen, and our new guys, Ralph, <laughs> Christian, and Christoph. And three. Christoph. <laughs> what have we learned? Nothing. Correct. Your mom. Die to fire. We'll see you next week. Five dudes.